I'm going to talk about commanding officer's summary hearing and the circumstances in which it may or may not be appropriate to elect a court-martial. So summary hearing is a hearing in front of the commanding officer for less serious military offences. The soldier, if convicted, can face a variety of uh, sentences, including a fine and including being sent to MCTC at Colchester, and of course does also carry a criminal record. So there are circumstances in which, which a serviceman may prefer to elect court-martial, and there may be circumstances in which a serviceman prefers to stay in the summary hearing in front of his or her commanding officer. Now, commanding officer's summary hearing, the, the big advantage is that it is quick and it is cheap. It is quick because there are no lawyers involved and because the matter can automatically be uh, appealed to the summary appeal court if the serviceman is unhappy either with the conviction or any sentence. And it is cheap because there are no lawyers involved and because the serviceman is not required to pay for the assistance of an assisting officer, it means that the matter can be dealt with with a minimum of expense. In comparison, electing court-martial can be expensive, uh, it can be stressful, it can take a long time, and it can also mean that while the court-martial is going on, there may be difficulties promoting or transferring or carrying on with a career. However, there are circumstances in which it may be appropriate to elect court-martial. The main advantage of electing court-martial is that you are not being tried by the chain of command that has made the allegation against you. The disadvantage of the summary hearing system is that the commanding officer will frequently be part of the chain of command that brings the complaint, makes the allegation against the serviceman in the first place. That doesn't happen at court-martial. At court-martial, the matter is decided by a board outside of the individual's chain of command and is presided over by a legally qualified judge. In addition, the serviceman is entitled to have the services of a defence lawyer assist them at court-martial. The disadvantage is the cost. If the serviceman decides to apply for Armed Forces Criminal Legal Aid funding, it may be that they are expected to provide a substantial contribution towards that representation. If they instruct a lawyer privately, they, the serviceman will have to pay that lawyer on a privately funded basis. So court-martial can be expensive. However, it may be that in some circumstances, court-martial, electing court-martial, may mean that a serviceman is able to more uh, sufficiently defend themselves and potentially avoid a criminal conviction or a sentence following that conviction, such as military custody.